Okay, here's problem number nine of your law of cosine studio. The directions here say find the area of the triangle. Now, uh, the formula you did for area you did yesterday, and the information we need um, is a very traditional side angle side that you learned and integrated to. So we need a side and then an angle on a side in that order on this triangle in order to use our area formula. But the information you see right here, we don't quite have that. We do have two sides at an angle, but it has to be in order side, angle, side, or side, angle, side. It has to be in that correct order. So we got to find some information right here. Now, if you're looking at this, remember, traditionally you should always try to do law of sines first. It is friendlier. If law of sines doesn't work, then we're going to go to law of cosines. Uh, we use law of cosines for... Uh, side angle side and side 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 if you start with a triangle with those three pieces of information That's when I use it and I'm looking at this going. That's not the side angle side or side 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 So law of signs should work So when we start law of signs uh, We pick an angle as long as we have its opposite side which we do here. That's 11.6 and that ratio is equal to sine of another angle and I can choose a or I can choose B but if I choose a which is blank the side opposite A is also blank. I don't want to create two unknowns, so I have to go to B because I know the side opposite B is that 6. So we're going to solve this guy, and that's going to give me uh, this angle up here, B, which temporarily doesn't give us the side angle side, but you'll see that it will help us in the next step after. calculator 6 sine 130 I like to hit equals divided by 11.6 that gives me a weird decimal remember that's equal to sine of B and to get rid of the word sine we do inverse sine of the previous answer 23.34 that's angle B up there angle B 23.34 so now that I have that angle up there, I still don't have a side angle side. However, knowing two angles, I can figure out what this third blank angle is down here. And if I could figure that angle out, I could use this side, this angle, and this side, and use the area formula. There's my side angle side. So let's go find angle A quickly. Don't hit clear on that on your calculator, so I don't have any round off there. So 180 minus that answer so i'm using the previous answer and the minus 130 which is the other angle in the corner gives me angle a 26.657 angle a 26.66 i'm going to write that but i'm not going to use that you'll see that here in a second so now that i have angle a here i'm going to use my area formula side angle side so those things that i circled i'm going to start with the 11.6 and I'm going to multiply that by the 6, those are the two sides, times sine of the angle in between them, which is the angle we just found, the 26.66, all over 2. Now before I punch this, I will point out the most common error that's going to happen. It's going to happen to a lot of people because your brains are just stuck there. This ditto is law of cosines ditto. The area formula uses sine. The biggest error that Mr. Powers and I are going to find is people accidentally using cosine right here because their brain is just in law of cosine mode. So remember, the area formula is always sine. So, when I go punch this on my calculator, since I've never hit clear for the 26.66, I've still got that ugly answer sitting on my calculator. I'm going to use the previous answer so I don't have any round off error. 11.6 times 6 times sine of, now the previous answer, there's my numerator, don't forget to divide it by 2, that's probably the second most common error, so forgetting the divide by 2, and there is the area of that triangle. It says round in there is tenths, so I'll just copy the directions here, 15.6, and we're going to label square meters. Okay. Okay. 